Hi children, welcome to your home school. This is your last session of your some applications of trigonometry. 12th chapter, 10th standard NCRT or CBSE syllabus. So now, what is your last session? You have only two problems. Let's see the 15th problem here. A straight highway. You can see the picture also there. A straight highway leads to the foot of a tower. So what happens here? Highway is leading to the foot of the tower. A man standing at the top of the tower. Where the man is standing? Man is standing on the top of the tower. Observes a car at an angle of depression 30 degree. See here children, there you can see the figure and the person on the top of the building. There, the angle of depression, what is seeing here? He is seeing a car which is coming towards the building. Okay, so first the angle of depression is 30 degree. Which is approaching the foot of the tower with a uniform speed 6 seconds later. Okay, 6 seconds later. The angle of depression of the car is found to be 60 degree. So, from this position to reach another point, this angle of depression is 30 degrees. And to reach a point after 6 seconds, the angle of depression is 60 degree. Find the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point. So, here children, there you can see the original figure and I have drawn the right angle triangle to do the problem here. So, let's see here carefully. This is a tower from D point, the angle of depression. First, the car is at A position and its angle of depression is 30 degree. The car is moving at a uniform speed. Okay, so after 6 seconds later, Look here children, same speed, right? After 6 seconds, it will be at a B point and it makes an angle of depression 60 degree. What is the time it is taken to reach the foot of the tower is your question. See here children, this is a depression question. Understand the angle carefully. A man on the top of the tower, right? When he is seeing the car at A position, it is an angle of 30 degree. Look here, angle is for only this line. Can you see the line? Angle 30, this angle should not be touched to this line. Right? So, here it is 30 with the horizontal line. Then, alternate and this angle becomes 30 degree. Then here, the car is moving towards the tower. Uh, after 6 seconds... See here, what's the time? After 6 seconds, it makes an angle 60 there. So, what we have taken? We have taken for our convenience sake and we have done here. Okay, it is alternate angle 60 here. So, now what is the time taken to reach the foot of the tower? So, here it is perpendicular children. So, don't be panic. It is very easy problem. So, first how to do this problem? Let me consider first this triangle, then this big triangle. Okay. So, you are going to write the sentences carefully as I give in your notes. So, now, what is this children here? Consider the right angle triangle. Which right angle triangle we are going to take here? B, C, D. Consider the triangle, right angle triangle B, C, D. What is the angle here? See, this is 60 degree. We don't know either opposite or we don't know base. But we are taking. So, now I am going to assume it. Tan 60 is equal to opposite DC by adjacent is BC. What is tan 60 value here children? It is root 3. Root 3 is equal to DC by BC. So, here uh, I need this value children. Okay, so for that purpose I am doing. So, what do I do now? BC send this side. BC is equal to DC by root 3. Mark it first equation. Okay, now take the another right angle triangle. What is another right angle triangle children? Consider the right angled triangle ACD. Okay, 
A C D. So what is the angle it is making here? Thirty. I will take again tan ratio. Tan thirty degree is equal to D C by A C. Tan thirty degree is equal to opposite by adjacent. What is tan thirty here, children? It will be one by root three is equal to D C by A C. So here, what is A C? I can write it as A B plus B C. One by root three is equal to D C by A B plus B C. So observe here carefully, children. Now cross multiply. So what happens here? A B plus B C. Uh, I need here A B, right? Okay, no problem. A B plus B C is equal to D C root three. So now what I do here? I know B C value. Okay, observe here carefully, children. Now what am I doing here? B C value already known here. So this B C value substitute here. That is, okay. You can write here, children. Substituting. Uh, substitute. Just I was writing here shortcut. Substitute. I write here. Just you remember. A B plus B C value is how much? D C by root three is equal to D C into root three. Okay. Now what happened here? Now this and other side. A B is equal to D C root three. Minus D C by root three. Okay. Now in these two, what is common here, children? D C is common. So what am I going to do here? Let me take it here. A B is equal to A B is equal to D C. Take out common. What you are going to left here? Root three minus one by root three. A B is equal to D C into do L C M here root three into root three will be three minus one by root three. A B is equal to three minus one. I will write it as two D C by root three. Okay, children. So now what do I got here? I got here B C distance. DC by root three and AB distance is two DC by root three. Now I know the time here. Now what you are going to take here? So look here. Just let me write a dash here. And now speed is equal to distance by time. You know, children, right? Now what I am taking here? I am considering AB. So look here. First step, if you want, you can take here any shortcut, but don't write in exam. Okay. So write uh, beside anywhere A B. This is a, my concentration now. I have to observe this. Speed is equal to what is the distance here, children? A B. Right. What is A B value? If you want, you can substitute A B by time six seconds. What is the time here, children? Six seconds. So now substitute here. A B value is how much? Two D C by root three. Look here. By six you have. So what you need to do? By six if you multiply, it will be one by six. Okay. So don't be panic here. How does it came? Don't be panic. The six will be multiple. Now what happens here? Two three sir. That will be D C by three. Root three. What is this D C by three root three? It is a speed. Okay. What is the speed between A to B? Speed is D C by three root three. Speed is uniform here also, right? Same speed I am going to consider here, and I am going to substitute. Look here carefully. So now, uh, S is equal to. D C by three root three. Now look here. This you have observed, right? Now what you are going to take? Actual B C you need to find here. So now you keep concentration here B C. Okay, children. Now what you are going to write here? Again, speed is equal to distance by time. 
So speed already you know what is the speed here? DC by three root three. DC by three root three. And now what is the distance here? DC by time you need to calculate. So already you know BC. This BC. So don't be confused here. This BC substitute here children. Substitute BC. DC by 3 root 3 is equal to BC. How much you want? DC by root 3 into time. So DC, DC cancel. Root 3, root 3 will be cancelled. If you cross multiply, time is equal to 3 seconds. So observe here carefully children. Once again I am going to repeat for you this problem. So a man standing on the top of a tower observes a car makes an angle 30. When it is moving towards a, a tower at some point it is at a uh, after 6 seconds time given. It is in a uniform speed making an angle 60. Okay what is the time taken to reach the foot of the tower is your question. So you have divided into two right angle triangles here children. As it is you have started here. I asked you to consider first this right angle. Okay mark one equation BC. Okay then next I have asked you to take right angle triangle ACD. Right. So again here instead of AC you can split this as AB plus BC. Already you know BC value substitute BC value. What you are going to get? AB value you got. So this AB value keep aside. Now in this what they have asked us? They asked us to find the time. Right? We know this time. So apply speed is equal to distance by time. And you calculate the speed here. Same speed you can use. That is uniform speed. Car is at a uniform speed. So if you uh, substitute here distance. What is the distance? AB. You want something. Time is 6 seconds. Right? So if you substitute you are going to get here speed. This speed you are going to substitute here. Now keep concentration BC here. Speed is equal to distance by time. And this what is the distance here? What is the speed you know? DC by 3 root 3. Distance is BC by time. Time you don't know but BC you know. What is BC here children? DC by root 3. So DC DC cancel. Root 3 root 3 cancel. Therefore finally what is the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower is 3 seconds. 16 problem here children. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower. So imagine a tower here. Let DC be the tower. A tower from two points at a distance of 4 meters and 9 meters. So look here. Let us assume two points here children. As you see there B is one point and A is one point. From B the distance is uh, 4 meters. And from A to C it is 9 meters. So what you need to find? Prove that height of the tower is 6 meters. Look here children already height also they have given. But we should not assume, we should not take that height. We have to prove that height of the tower is 6 meters. Okay, let's start the problem with one rough figure. You can see the original tower and all right. Let me draw one figure here. There is one point which you should discuss here. What is that point? So that is, look here, complementary word. What do you mean by complementary? When the sum of the two angles is 90 degree, that is called as a complementary. So we don't know the two angles. We know that there is a tower. Let us assume the tower is DC. Two points at B and A. And they are at a distance of 4 meter and also 9 meter. So look here children what we need to find we need to prove that DC height is equal to 6 meters we have to prove. How can I prove here? So I am talking that I need to prove this side. For this angle what is this opposite? Here base it will be adjacent. Okay I need to take a tan ratio. 
but we don't know angles no angles they have given a word the two angles are complementary how do you take care children if i take this is theta we don't know any angle right if i take this is theta then what will be this this plus this will be 90 degree right then this must be 90 degree minus theta so these are the two angles we have to take children now let's start the problem tan uh, in in right angled triangle let us take the small triangle here b c d tan theta is equal to opposite dc by bc opposite by adjacent tan theta i don't know anything right so let me write it as tan theta is equal to dc we don't know but bc i know what is bc children 4 so let me mark it first equation now let's go to the big right angle triangle here what is that in right angled triangle a c d tan theta what is this angle here children it's not theta but something other than theta what is that it is 90 degree minus theta is equal to dc by ac now tan 90 degree minus theta i can remember something dc by ac value was 9 tan 90 degree minus theta complementary angles what is tan 90 minus theta yes cot theta cot theta is equal to dc by 9 look here children what i need to prove dc i need to prove something but what i got here so uh, cot theta i got tan theta i got so what we can do here we can do in two ways that is dc is equal to 4 tan theta and here dc is equal to 9 cot theta you can equate and find or directly you can multiply both now on multiplying 1 and 2 equation here children multiply lhs lhs rhs rhs you multiply here that is 1 into 2 you do here in order to prove that we are multiplying here tan theta into cot theta is equal to dc by 4 into dc by 9 cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta children is equal to dc into dc dc square by 9 fours na 36 tan theta tan theta will be cancelled dc square is equal to 36 children what is dc square root of 36 that is dc is equal to plus or minus 6 meters but height we cannot say negative now therefore height dc height of the tower is equal to 6 meters okay with this we are going to end our some applications of trigonometry children trigonometry is very easy when we understand the problem if we by heart anything we won't get any trigonometry if we able to understand what given what i have to do if you able to think and analyze then trigonometry is very easy children so next session we are going to start with another chapter Okay children, thank you very much. If you want for another videos or any videos if you have missed in these chapters, you can see your description box below and you can go for the other links where you have missed. Okay, thank you children. Please subscribe.